We learned about asexual reproduction in lower organisms and different modes. Now we will discuss asexual reproduction in higher organisms that are plants. In higher organisms, asexual reproduction is achieved by means of vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation. In higher organisms, asexual reproduction is achieved by means of vegetative propagation. What is vegetative propagation? Either root system or above part of a plant, that is shoot system, gets modified and helps the plant in propagation. That means it is achieved by either modification of root or by modification of stem. either modification of root or by modification of stem. If root gets modified and helps the plant in propagation, we call it as vegetative propagation by means of vegetative propagation by means of by means of roots. And when stem gets modified and help us in propagation, we call it as vegetative propagation by means of stem. First, vegetative propagation by means of roots. What happens in this? How roots help the plants in propagation? In some plants, in some plants, for instance, sweet potato. This is a plant. It is root system. This is above ground part. What happens? Some roots, some roots get bulged, tuberous, get bulged. Some roots get bulged and develop at the, their apical portions vegetative buds. What? Vegetative buds. And these buds later on sprout and result in formation of new individuals. When this phenomena occurs, that means the roots bulge or become tuberous and these tuberous roots later on get detached from parent plant and results in formation of new individuals. We call it as vegetative propagation by means of roots. In this, there are few examples. One is sweet potato, sweet potato and second is Delbergia there are other examples too. This one is sweet potato and delbergia. Now we will talk about now after uh, vegetative propagation by roots, we will discuss vegetative propagation by means of stem. When stem helps the plant in propagation, we call it as vegetative propagation by propagation by means of of stem. It is achieved by three means either by underground stem, underground stem, or by sub aerial stem, sub aerial stem, or by aerial stem. Usually stem is an above ground part. Sometimes what happens, a portion of stem remains under the soil and spreads the branches. When these branches help put the plant in the propagation, we call it as propagation by means of underground stem. It has been delimited into following types. One is rhizome. Second is tuber. Third is bulb. And fourth is corn. Right? Underground stem are further delimited into four types. One is rhizome, second is tuber, third is bulb, and fourth is corn. In rhizome, underground stem gets modified and form long branches. And these branches bear scales which develop at the nodal positions. And in the axle of scales, develop some adventitious roots. On the upper side, there develop small buds. 
when such type of structure is present within the plant and these structures later on help the plant in regeneration and developing new plants developing new plants and such organ is known as rhizome right it is usually reported in aquatic plants that is typha and sparganium and even other species right this is rhizome second is tuber when underground stem this is stem this is underground part of stem this underground part of stem develops from the nodes to the branches these branches run parallel or horizontal to the surface of soil and at their tips get bulged out get bulged out store food and develop buds we are commonly known as eyes these eyes later on sprout and result in formation of new individuals when such mode of reproduction takes place we call it as reproduction by means of tubers what are tubers these are bulgings of underground branches which later on develop new plants it is usually reported in potato potato right and third is bulb bulb as you all know that main axis or above ground part of the stem above ground part of plant consists of two parts one is nodal parts nodal positions and second is between them is a space which we call them as internodal space space usually branches buds leaves arise from the nodal positions like this and this is an apical part for in a stems if we reduce this internodal distance the plant will look like as arising from a same point like this and this apical part will be found within these leaves if such type of structure that means reduced stem without internodal space internodal space has been reduced and a structure develops which is underneath the soil which is underneath the soil surface we call it as bulb what we call it as bulb you have seen it in onion garlic right now we will talk about corn right corn is also a reduced stem but difference from bulb is that in a seed of leaves there is bulging out of buds usually buds which arise in these axils we will find it as this is reduced stem and these lines represent the nodes and from these nodes there arise small buds there are arise small buds these buds are called cormlets these are known as cormlets right when such type of structure is reported in plants and this structure later on helps to develop new individuals from these cormlets we call it as reproduction by means of corm it is reported in crocus right this was all about underground stem now we will talk about subaerial stem subaerial stem is of following types one is runner second is sucker third is stone fourth is offset right these are different types of sub aerial stem what is runner if a plant from their nodal position is develop creeping branches these creeping branches at every 
नोडल पोजिशन डेवलप एडवेंटेशियस रूट एंड अपराइट शूट अपराइट शूट वी कॉल सच टाइप ऑफ सब एज स्टेम एज रनर रनर इज वट इज रनर रनर इज ए क्रीपर विच डेवलप horizontal branches on the surface of soil and their apical bud points towards the surface of soil and develops adventitious roots later on grows again first here touches the soil grows again here touches the soil grows again that means it continuously spreads on the ground and develops adventitious roots and which later on helps the plant to develop number of shoots such type of propagation is known as uh, vegetative propagation by means of runners uh, one main example is cynodon that means lawn grass right now second second is a sucker in sucker what happens the branches run horizontal to the surface of soil and after some time they emerge out they emerge out if such phenomena is observed in plants we call it as suckers we call it as suckers right what are suckers suckers are sub aerial branches of plants running under meath of soil for some time and later on emerging out of soil giving rise to new plants an example is chrysanthemum chrysanthemum right this is about suckers now we will talk about stones in some plants what happens this is a plant this is underground part the branches arise like an archery that means as arrow comes out of bow same way the branches comes out and form a parabola like structure like this and touch again the ground at the point of touching they develop adventitious roots and upright shoot again branch form the archery and touch again the ground comes out with branch and adventitious roots if such phenomena is observed in plants we call them as stolons that means stolons are the modified branches which form a parabolic shape and touch again the ground at the point of touching they develop adventitious roots and branches these branches result in formation of new individuals it is reported in strawberry now we will talk about offsets offsets are short short thicker runners spreading in all directions spreading in in all directions like this a plant main plant from the nodes develops a branch of single nodal internodal length and touches the ground again gives new branches and on lower side develops adventitious roots and same is the case in all directions that means it is different from stone in two ways one is the distance between parent stem and daughter stem is single internode and second at the time of emergence they give bunch of leaves in contrast to the stolon where there arises one or two branches not bunch of leaves if such phenomena is reported we call it as offset and it is reported in usually in aquatic plants aquatic plants such as picornia and hydrocas 
ecornia and hydrocarps right this was all about vegetative propagation by means of subaerial stem these are four types one is runner sucker stone and offset right now we will finally talk about aerial stem aerial stem is a uh, two types one is vegetative propagation by means of leaf or vegetative propagation by means of bulbils right when leaf acts as a propagating organ we call it as vegetative reproduction by means of leaf in some species uh, for instance cry uh, bryophyllum bryophyllum example bryophyllum in species of bryophyllum what happens plant leaves at the margins develop vegetative buds vegetative buds after falling on the ground this leaf from these vegetative buds gives rise to new branches and on lower side adventitious roots and these uh, sprouting from the buds result in formation of new plants result in formation of new plants we call it as reproduction by means of leaf normally what is the function of leaf leaf synthesize food for the plant that is by means of photosynthesis but sometimes it uh, performs some additional function what is that it develops some vegetative buds on their margins after falling from the plant these buds germinate and result in formation of new plants and develop on lower side adventitious roots we call this method as vegetative propagation by leaves now second and it is reported in bryophyll and now finally we will talk about bulbils this is a normal plant at the nodal positions usually arise leaves and in the axils of leaves there arise branches in some plants what happens in a seed of developing branches these buds bulge out and form a tuberous structure these buds which have to develop branches in a seed of developing branches get bulged out and these bulgings later on get detached from the parent plant give rise to the new individual give rise to the new individual such type of structures which develops in the axils of leaves or branches and these um, uh, structures bulge out and form a structure which we call as bulbils what are bulbils now bulbils are modified buds arising from the axils of leaves or branches it helps the plant in propagation right usually reported in dioscorea that's cordia right we learned about underground stems subaerial stems aerial stems and in aerial stems we delimited them leaves and bulbils by propagation by leaves is carried out by bryophyllum and bulbils it is carried out in that's cordia this was all about today's lecture in next lecture we will start with sexual reproduction in angiospermic plants till then stay blessed and khuda hafiz